are now net deforested. They will replant. That's number one. <clears throat> when you clean the site, you're releasing carbon. When the trees fall down, you're really, when you plow the site to prepare the site for replanting, more carbon. And when you heavily chemicalize the site, more carbon by the manufacture of these carcinogenic toxins. God help any community downwind after they begin to spray this site, they'll be spraying shortly. So, a hardwood, a beech tree, non-native, no buds, I cut that down, it grows again. It's coppice. It locks up five times more carbon than a maiden. The regrowth on a copper stool is five times more effective at carbon sequestration. Every 17 years, I clean the stool, it grows again. If that, you can't do that with a Sitka spruce. But if I have a plan, if I'm making furniture, baskets, if I'm locking up the carbon, then that's the value of hardwood, where a softwood goes to toilet paper or pallets. Do you understand the difference there, David? Mm. One, the basket maker is a special type. He's always locking up, using the sally, locking up carbon. And the furniture maker, and the roofer, and anyone working in timber, they're locking up carbon for another generation. But uh, this is, uh, there's also, again, back to Lodato say, why has the Pope condemned plantation forestry? Because he says, it exterminates local biodiversity. And hence, every so often, loads and loads and loads of areas. This is a small area. Like in, in Derry Brian, you've got three and four thousand acre clear fells, entire mountain clear fells. So there's no continuous forest cover here, and that's a great pity. And uh, I can assure you there's very little wildlife. Sally's on the verge, a few Sally's making the...